Hello everybody and welcome to my bed frame on the wall. Uh, you may know my channel from the meth video that exists on it that has over a million views. If you don't, um, don't check it out. I figured today's my birthday. Today's the day that I start a YouTube channel for real. Over COVID, I had a lot of hobbies. Uh, I'm sure everyone picked up hobbies. I ended up picking up um, film as a hobby, film photography, and I can make that into a much longer video talking about the process, talking about everything I got into to get to where I am, but I'll leave that for another video. When I started doing film, I was someone who wanted to explore, do more, just do weird stuff. So that's why I also have all these weird cameras, but I also started getting into weird films. Um, I had heard about uh, Lomography's Lomochrome Purple, and that film shifts everything kind of green, to purple, yellows to pink, uh, blues to turquoise. And that led me down a journey of Aerochrome. This is a film that I've wanted for a long time, but it is rare. It is hard to find. It is super expensive for what it is, for film in general. I mean, a lot of people think film is dead. I think it's making a comeback. That's all for another video. Aerochrome is a special kind of infrared film. It essentially shifts all organic greens to red. And this film was created uh, for military purposes by Kodak. Uh, they wanted to be able to find hidden bases, hidden things in the forest, and it's an easier way to shift all the greens to red and then find all the man-made things in it when you do that, um, especially with camouflage and whatnot. The film was discontinued and now it's very rare, it's very expensive. I'd always wanted a roll, so a few months ago, after searching forever, I found a roll on eBay coming from Russia. I was excited and scared about it because expensive but also don't know if it's gonna work it's expired it could be bad it could have been just shipping it to me I could have had it it could have been x-rayed x-rays will ruin that roll of film the man had to hand roll them and put them into canisters so even that even that I was like that that could ruin the film uh, me loading it into the camera I was like how much light like I don't want this in any light it says don't put it in any light so I hid it away Loaded it in complete darkness. I was like, I hope I loaded this correctly. Cool. Uh, the camera, the camera I had just gotten. I had done a test roll, but I, and the, the results were good, but there's nothing saying that there couldn't have been some kind of hiccup, some kind of light leak. I don't know. I decided to do C41 processing. I'm not going to get into the specifics of that, but generally this film, this film is E6 processing. We did C41. It's a cross process to C41. I was worried that that wasn't going to work out. So because of my camera and film endeavors over the last year, uh, somebody in a Facebook group had hit me up and said, hey, I have a Canon AE-1, would you want it? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. They were in Wausau and it took me forever to get there. So I ended up actually getting a different Canon AE-1, but my friend Dylan had wanted one for a while. So I figured we'd go to Wausau, get the camera for Dylan, and then we would shoot on the way back. Enjoy my trip. <laughs> say that you should do 320, but like I don't have a 320 ASA, um, and I have a cap on. That's one arrow pro. <laughs> So, so what are we doing now? Putting on the correct filter. <laughs> Ignore that this is a shirt. So do those first two shots count? They, they will in post. I'll show them. If this film turns out. Also, Nikon on my Canon. That filter does look kind of cool though. We got Mike Makes here lining up a shot. I think uh, it looks like he went back for a little bit of Portra. I went back for this camera because this is the one I forgot in the car. Big decisions here, you know, you got 36 frames, maybe 37 if you're lucky. Check it out, we got the Camelot Motel, this janky ass place. This is janky ass pool in the middle of these janky ass. Oh, nobody's staying there, man. Stay 
Went middle with the arrow chrome. He's got the 24 millimeter red line. Look at him, look at him go. Ultra made as he lines up his shot. Oh, oh, having second thoughts, he takes a couple paces to the left. And that's a shot, he says to himself as traffic blows by. That is five aerochrome. How many aerochrome was that? Aerochrome number six. That was six aerochrome. Better give me everything in that box. I see you over there trying to sneak my filters. It's the same camera. It's an AE1 program. Nice. So now we can do. Does it a... click? Oh yeah, she said it works. Nice. So, but what I don't yes. know is it already says. Yeah, there's some film that comes with it. She said she kept it cool. So, what I want to know is. Um, is there film in it? Yep. Hold on. That's a shot. That's a photo. That's a photo with Mike Makes Wisconsin, Mike Makes Wausau, Mike Makes whatever you goddamn want. Yeah, Mike Makes whatever I want. All right, you can take your photo now. I tried to slow down, I was going 16. There, like... <laughs> there was no way for me to get a shot of that. Just shot out the back window. Chatty Bell, the world's largest cow. Talking cow. Uh, she doesn't take the uh, Salt River Bay quarters. You only take the old money, huh? You don't want that new money, you want that old money. All I got's new money there, Kathy, so we're gonna have to find a compromise. Hello, and thank you for visiting. My name is Chatty Bell. Unfortunately, I was not part of the exhibit at the 1964-65 World's Fair in Flushing Meadow, New York. My name is Michael and I like weird things in Wisconsin. I found this big old silver dome on a website and some really cool aerochrome film that I'm gonna take with my 1970s camera. My name is Mike. That's photo. What are we? That's arrow chrome number eight. Yep. I didn't realize there's gravel the whole way. Don't, don't do anything with that Chrysler or those snowmobiles. What? Yeah. <laughs> So I want to say shout out to Atlas Obscura. Uh, check out that website. I ended up finding a bunch of stuff to do when we were coming back from Wausau. And uh, I only really took eight photos. I was worried that I would go through too much of the film on this trip and I really wanted to shoot things around my hometown. I reached out to people on Instagram who follow me. I said, hey, would you like your film portrait with this experimental film? No guarantees it's gonna work. You get one shot and uh, let's see if it works out. Let's see what happens.
after development, I did learn that it, 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 it processes a little soft, or I'm just real bad with a camera and some of the shots are soft. Uh, maybe it's both. But uh, I do know I underexposed the film. The film itself uh, is supposed to be 400 ISO, um, ASA, whatever you want to say. Uh, but they say to shoot it at 320 um, for cross-processing into C41, which I mentioned before. I think because it's expired, it's not accepting light nearly as well as it could, and so I got a lot of grain. I did have to boost the exposure a little bit in post by about one stop, maybe two, um, depending on the photo. To finish up this roll, I decided Riverfest is coming up. They offer helicopter rides, and this role's whole history was for aerial military photography. I figured, what a great way to end this role of film. I'm sad though, because I got seated on the opposite side of the helicopter for weight distribution, and I didn't get like city shots that I wanted. I wanted the riverside, I wanted uh, the bridge. I was facing away from that, so I did end up getting some really nice alien looking marsh, uh, marshlands and I found that to be absolutely great. I did get some city shots but uh, they are soft like I said before. This film is kind of soft. I may try it again. I was kind of sad about being placed on that side of the helicopter, so I did save two shots. I knew from the start that what I wanted to do was I, I wanted to get my two favorite locations. Um, I've been going to this quarry trail for a long time, and I knew I wanted like the quintessential lacrosse shot. There is one shot that you can get from the rim of the city, uh, one of the trails here, and get the most known bluff, which is Granddad Bluff, with the city in the background. And so I aimed for that, and then that wrapped up the roll. In the end of the end of the aerochrome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. Uh, send me a message. I don't care. Turning 30 last year was kind of a letdown considering the pandemic. I've always wanted to start up a YouTube channel. This is my start to that, and I might make another video. Maybe I won't, but I figured I would do this for myself for my birthday because I am now a 31-year-old man. Goodbye.